Are you guys ready? Oh my God, don't tell me that's your favorite. Please, Regan. I had my days mixed up. So, oh, hold on, guys. Oh my God, what did she say? Something that it's her favorite. Oh man. Okay, guys. I was thinking today was banana bread day. So I'm here for banana bread and I apologize. Everybody was thinking you're gonna get a recipe on um, my pork and beans that we've been making forever. Uh, this is my favorite thing that my mom makes. Oh my God, don't say that. Oh, dude. Okay. Hey, baby. Hi, Brandy. I love you. Okay, I messed up, Brandy. I had everybody thinking I'm making ba baked beans and I'm making banana bread. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, Brandy. I'm an idiot. I'm making banana bread. But I make my banana bread that I used to make when we had our Airbnb. So anybody who's in here, guess what? We're making banana bread and not making um, pork and beans. or We make beans like the ones that my mom makes. I was trying to make all mom stuff around Mother's Day. And then we got backed up because Joe got hurt. And before you knew it, now we're not making what I'm supposed to be making. <laughs> banana bread over baked beans any day. Joe, Uncle Joe got messing with some poison what? ivy. Fire ants. Slash poison ivy. Fire poison ants. Ivy. So Uncle Joe's in a lot of discomfort. So the last I got, couple I got days, no knuckles left. It's all puffed up. Yeah, he's a little <laughs> swollen. So you guys, I saw. Barely making it, yo. Brandy, thank you. You made me feel a lot better. You made me feel better going, hey, banana, bake, uh, banana bread. Anybody coming in, you guys? I got my days mixed up. I thought I was doing banana bread no. and not baked beans. Oh, yeah. So I prepped everything. My mise au plat or mise au she, she meant to say banana bread. Banana bread. That's what we're making, guys. Banana bread. So we're making banana bread. Got everything set up for it. Um, it's kind of like a one bowl banana that bread. That's on? kind of when, uh, yeah, you can do it in a minute. Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah. I started making this banana bread when I had my Airbnb. We did it. I had it for my... For our guests that came up in the morning, we had warm banana bread for them. Um, I did blueberry muffins, banana bread. Sometimes I do a coffee cake, like a sour cream coffee cake. Um, what else stuff that they like for my baking? Um, those are the main ones that the people requested. Um, what are the baking did I do for them? Of the oh, I did my sour cream coffee cake, banana bread. Um, I did um, like a. I tried to do like um, a crumble cake, a crumble cobbler for them. Um, we had a, we lived in a state where there was a bunch of blueberries, so a lot of stuff. We had like blueberry pancakes and stuff like that. But anyways, my baking was this. I'm gonna start the banana bread. I'm sorry for anybody that wanted um, uh, la, 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 beans. So here we go. So it's basically one bowl, but you can do two. I don't matter. I just set up everything. If I didn't set up things, all these dishes wouldn't be done. So it's three bananas. They're pretty for me. They're very ripe. Should have showed you guys. They they do get riper, but anyways, this is sometimes they get so ripe, and I'll stick them in the freezer, and then when I'm gonna make it the day, the morning of or something, I'll take them out of the freezer. I literally have um, what's it called? I make the banana bread, and they're like all slimy and wet and brown and weird looking. So mashing my bananas you can use anything he's a fork but i love the gift that tragic gave me and i use it with so much excitement so that's why i what is that baby coffee yeah i was like what so there's kind of like a wet dry process i'm putting all the wet stuff first and it really like the butter's not wet it's just like um liquid i guess but the flour the baking powder baking soda that goes in afterwards Okay, guys. Anybody just coming in? This doesn't look like beans. I know. <laughs> We're doing banana bread. Okay, three bananas mashed. Now that I have my bananas mashed, I'm going to put in my uh, butter. Just one stick of butter melted. Okay. Oh, I just put that all over my hand. Ooh, I hate that sound, too. When I play back my videos, I'm like, oh, why do I do that? Brando, it's just you in there. Thank you for being here, Mama. Um, all right. 
I would, I, you know what, you guys, I think I'm going to mash my bananas just a tiny bit more because they're big chunks. It almost looks like, um, what is it called? Uh, I don't know, a uh, lumpy. If I don't do it smaller, I feel like the bananas will be like a lumpy. What is it? What am I thinking? A lumpy, um, I don't know, but they need to be smaller because I, I should have done it, but I'm going to mash them a little bit more, y'all, but mash your bananas three bananas right i've actually used four before in this recipe because i wanted to get rid of all of them that were brown so i don't think it made that much of a difference um hey sunflower hey sunflower babe i got three bananas i know it's not beans baby um i had the day wrong it's a banana bread so i've got one i've got one stick of butter melted i've got three bananas mashed in here half a cup of brown sugar one half cup of regular sugar, but I want to tell you guys also, I have comp I've made my this recipe so many different ways. I didn't have my white sugar, so I put a whole cup of brown sugar. Just know that it works. I've had it like that. Um, it, it maybe it's a little bit brown. It's a little bit browner, maybe if even that. Um, but I have used it. I've compromised in the time. Um, this can be used with milk. I have always used buttermilk because I've um. I don't know. I, I liked it. Oh, I think maybe I had it and then I really liked the flavor of it. And then I decided to try it with regular milk. And I was like, you know what? I think I like it with uh, buttermilk better. So half a cup of buttermilk, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar, one stick of butter, which is basically a half a cup, and then three butter, three bananas. Why? Go ahead. Oh. Sunflower. Her banana bread is awesome but when she makes her coffee cake oh, oh he man. loves my coffee cake. i love cake. that stuff he loves my coffee cake it's a sour cream coffee cake very 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 good um okay and then i have two eggs um and then i have one stick of vanilla that's it for the wet ingredients i take my eggs out i'm sorry i left you hanging there babe Look at oh that's okay let me do it down my, I take my eggs out about 30 minutes before you guys because I want my, I, it's just supposed to be better for your, your, um, it's supposed to be better for your, uh, batter to bake with, to, it's for everything it's supposed to do, the, your eggs should be come out 30 minutes before. So I have in here three, three bananas smashed, it's supposed to be all one bowl. That's why you start with your bananas, smash them up, one stick of butter melted, pour it in there. Half a cup of brown sugar packed in, one cup of regular sugar. Then you use one teaspoon of vanilla, two eggs, and a half a cup of your butter. Or, I'm sorry, of uh, buttermilk. I use buttermilk. You can use regular milk. It works with buttermilk too. I, milk or buttermilk, they work the same for this recipe. Not in general, just in, in this recipe, they work the same. Okay, so I am going to mix this really quick. Do I make you nervous? Makes me nervous. Just gonna incorporate. Yes, everybody coming in I had the wrong day for the wrong item. I was intending to make my banana bread all day long. I was getting you know ready and excited and everything, and then just now I was like looking at the you know which button, which live I was gonna start, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm supposed to be making uh, my pork and beans. My mom makes a really good pork and bean. I was going to make that stuff around Mother's Day, but uh, with Joe getting a little bit sick, I had to keep moving the date on it to a different day, and I didn't want to inconvenience him by being on camera. So, all right, once it's incorporated, just well incorporated. Half a cup, one and a half a cup of flour, okay? And I'm going to put everything in at the same time. One and a half cup flour. I have one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. Make sure you get all of your remnants of your ingredient that could still be in there because it does play a part. If some of it gets stuck to the bottom, maybe your, your ramekin or your uh, teaspoon was wet when you washed it and you left some in there, especially if it's only a half a teaspoon, 
if you leave it in there, you're not really getting your half a teaspoon. You're getting a quarter or an eighth of a teaspoon. That's it. That's it, guys. We're now we mix away. Is that not the easiest recipe ever? I love it. I like it because it's easy. Um, I have put chocolate chips on it. I have put blueberries in it. If you do put blueberries, it's up to you guys. Put your blueberries, like if they're fresh or whatever, rinse them off. Get them, you know, put them on the counter to dry off. Get a bowl of flour, like this size bowl. Put flour in it just a little bit and roll your blueberries around in it. You, I, They work fine. Um, you can put fresh blueberries. You can use uh, chocolate chips. I've used them two different ways. I mean, it's a very versatile recipe. I guess that's what I'll say. I've done it with buttermilk and regular milk. Um, I've done it with all brown sugar versus half and half. Um, you may find that's what I found. It, it was supposed to be regular milk, and all I had was buttermilk. And then I was like, man, I, I the next time I made it, I made it with what it was supposed to be again. And I go, I think I like the flavor of the buttermilk a little bit better. And so I went back to that. How are you holding up? Me? Yeah. My hands are okay. Okay. Thank you for asking, though. I wonder, next time I want, might want to get my mixer and see if it actually does way different. You know what I mean? Versus, yeah. um versus uh, mixing it by hand. I've always mixed it by hand at home. I didn't get my mixer, you guys, until we moved into the RV. <laughs> when we had less room, <laughs> we decided to get it. Well, because I had more time, we were gonna be retired then. So I ended up getting it, my mixer, after we retired. So I, I use it, it's just I'm used to baking uh, with my hands. But the, it looks like a batter. Anybody coming in, I apologize if you're coming in for the side. I was making my mom's side, um, her pork and beans. It's a recipe my mom has made forever. We grew up, like three years old, five years old. We know it. We eat it with a chip. It's our favorite, favorite, favorite uh, side dish when we have our, our, our cookouts. I was getting everything ready, and I got it all ready for my banana bread. And then when I went to click my you know preset pre live, I was like ready to click it and I go, what is the date on that? And I was like, oh my God, people think I'm making uh, the baked beans. Or they're not baked beans, they're more like a pork and bean. Um, they're definitely not a baked bean. They're very, like, they're good. They're very, very good. Okay, we going on. I got um, muffin pan. I don't, or, uh, that's another thing. I made these into muffins before. They make 12 muffins. I put about, I want to say, just, I, I want to say it's a half a cup, not heaping half a cup, just a half a cup into the muffin pan, and they were beautiful. They work wonderful. My, I was over at my brother's house, and they had about six or eight bananas, and I made a double batch, and I think um, we they had banana muffins in their freezer, and they could pull them out whenever they wanted to. They freeze beautiful. They bake beautifully, um, but we, I, I mean, sometimes you just don't want a whole loaf i mean they took it out literally the night before and then the kids would take it to school in the morning um or my brother or they just had it and they would take it to work and you didn't have to make a whole loaf they would just take out three or four for the day or whatever and they were just in the freezer so that's try to help my brother when i was over there i just sprayed it doesn't need flowering just a, like a pam or whatever that's called spray pam is that what it's called pam spray pam yeah <laughs> okay. Yeah, you just got the, the two or three. All right. I am going to pour it in. And you guys just, uh, you want to be careful with your muffin or, or with your banana bread because sometimes the center is a still doughy and everything on the sides is already done. I've had that before. I just put foil on it. It's not a big deal, you guys. Just put foil on the top so it can get the center done. Um, that's, and, and, and you don't want to burn the outsides. So I am going to do this much as a loaf and I'm going to do about two big muffins. I have, a, um, it's called a, a muffin pan versus a cupcake pan, 
and I'm going to do a couple of those so that way we can have them um, versus it overflowing. I wanted to do the smaller muffin, the smaller loaf pan so I could do, I have another uh, muff banana or I have another loaf pan that's a little bit bigger. This is my smaller one. I wish I knew what the size is. I can find out if you want. Daddy, you got to... What do you need? Uh, something to measure this so I can tell them... How big it is? Yes. Because uh, it's too small. It, it should be in like an, a 5 by 11 or a 5 by something. That is... That's two and a half inches deep. By... Um... I would say... This is a 9 by 13. Can you measure it compared to this? That's 9 by 13. So it's 8 by 5? Yeah, it's about 2 and a half inches deep. Pushing through 2 and 3 quarters. And then you're you're at uh, 10 inches. 10 by probably 5. 10 by... Yeah, 10 by 4. This is a 9 by 13, five. so... So that's this is too small. You're better off with going a standard loaf pan. About, uh, four, four and a half Go inches. with a standard loaf pan. I think it's because it's ceramic. It's smaller. It's more of like a decorative kind of loaf pan. But I like the way it cooks it. It cooks it a little bit more even in our in our oven. Um, oh, and by the way, whoever was asking, our scalloped potatoes last night. I didn't tell anybody anything. I just popped them in and hopped off. I put them in for thirty minutes on three seventy five. Okay, sorry about that. I had somebody had asked a question last night. My bad. I just hopped off. I didn't give anybody any kind of directions. I was like, there you go, guys. See you later. And you guys are like, um, mm, hello, man. Can you give us the rest of it? So I would, if especially if it's your first time making this, try for the pan that it's supposed to be in. Or unless you want to make muffins or uh, cupcakes. These are our muffin pans. They're a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see it. They're They're... The, I, I mean, you guys know what they look like. Cupcakes are a lot smaller, but I use these, and sometimes we make little parchment paper squares in it, and then we'll put that. I'm going to do it without any parchment paper because I didn't prepare it. I did everything else, and so I'm just going to spray these really quick, or maybe, yeah, I'll just spray it. Stop. What, baby? Nothing. Just talking to myself. Look, I left a little in there. Dang it. Uh, is there, um... You need another one? No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's already... We done. Is that ready to go? Is it? It is. All right. We're oh, putting it in... What? What? There's a pan in there. Sorry. You're making me nervous. <laughs> I'll get it out of it. All right. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do it in the center, you guys. I feel like you'd have a more even bake if it's in the center versus on the ends. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? There you go. I'm running out. Sorry, y'all. Mm -hmm. Run on low, baby. Run on low. On what, baby? This? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, this is ready to go in. Okay. And I'm going to just do two muffins because I want, well, one, I don't want my, my thing to overflow. If it overflows, it does affect, well, one, it uh, won't cook properly because it's bubbling over, so I'm going to try to get it out of there in a hurry so it's not going to cook the way it needs to. You guys, if you guys ever see me eating dough or batter, don't bother me. Because <laughs> I eat cookie dough. I eat batter. I don't care. If it's my time to go, the good Lord's waiting on me. My brother, my dad, they're waiting. just butter them for you? Ay, cabrón. I, mean, Por qué? I, mean, I like this, even if it doesn't want to come out. It's done. All right, then dump me oil in a paper towel. What do you want? Right here, baby. Don't want mantequilla? Oh, Crisco. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you can fill that up. That's what I would like. You okay? Yeah, just gotta have it up in there. Then do it. Go sit down. I don't need your help, honey. What do you mean? I don't We're need just you. We're together now. <laughs> Shut up. If you're going down, I'm going down. We're going down together. That's right. Maybe I'll make them a little small so I can do two more. When they come out, you guys are like big and beautiful. Right. It's like, what? Who made that? Me. Me. I made that. You guys, that's what, I think that's the difference. 
I, when I when I cook, like I I mean I'm not one thing's better or worse, but when I cook, I'm kind of like, yay, we're we're done, we're eating. I'm all excited. When I bake, I'm like, oh, I did it, like a sense of accomplishment. I mean, it was probably easy and all, but for this girl, thinking is really uh. It's really hard for you. It is. It's like, how do I, like, I have like a million thoughts going in my head and I got to narrow them down to like a half a cup. What do they mean, cup? <laughs> do they mean a glass cup or a paper cup or a coffee cup? Like, my brain does not uh, handle. You don't handle directions. Yeah, I don't like directions at all. I hate directions, to be truthful. If you must know. <laughs> so what big deal, Joe? That's right. He used to say that all the time. Yeah, so what big deal? <laughs> I don't think directions... I don't think I was made for baking. I was made... Commander came in for you. What's up? Listen, lady, I made the wrong... I made the wrong post. It was supposed to be me frijoles, pero no hay. I got everything ready, girl, and then I looked at it, and I was like... Oh my God, I am about to make a, a banana bread instead of a... Oh, take that. I am still picking. Oh my goodness. That? Dude, I got everything ready. And I'm like, hey, Boogie Bear. Hey, Drew. And that's another thing. If y'all see me slick on the batter and the cookie dough, let me be. I'm okay. I'm 50. I've lived a grown woman's life. I'm okay. I'm okay with the batter. Okay. I've eaten batter my whole life. Actually, I eat it a lot. I used to work at a cookie dough company, and I'd eat the cookie dough. Um, I, don't, well, I worked in sales, so I didn't really eat, sit back there and eat it, like in the production. I worked in the sales department. What do you need, Daddy? So, I got all my stuff. Can everybody make sure they hit the like? Because Yvonne already messed up already on today's live. Who's gonna come in for beans, right? I literally had zero when I started, but let me just tell you, I got my, like, my butter because I had to melt it. And I had my eggs and my flour and my baking butter. Ba okay, got it all ready. I got ready like 7.15. I was done. I was like, boom, let's do this live. Then I look at my thing and I go, I'm ready to click it. And I go, what? Why does it say, like, I was ready to click the, and I go, that's tomorrow's date. What's today's date, Joe? And Joe's like, it's this. And I'm like. Did I just do the wrong thing? I click, I mean, I had to go back and I switched the date so I could start the live on the correct date. So I did it and I'm like, dude, I had literally, my niece was the only person in here five minutes in. Nobody even came in for the first five minutes. And I'm like, who wants to come in for beans? Okay, it got worse because then I look at the comment and, um, Raging Cajun, I think it was. Somebody, I thought it was Raging Cajun, said, oh my God, this is my favorite thing that my mom makes. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> the one person that's here was excited for the baked beans or the beans. And I'm not even making them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Now she's going to go. <laughs> that's funny. That's not funny. Okay. I'll go over the recipe really quick with everybody, Kay. It was just, it was a one cup or three bananas smashed up in a bowl. It's a one bowl recipe i used to make it for our airbnb we had a bed and breakfast we fed them we made breakfast for them we made uh desserts and danishes and we made scones for them um blueberry scones we made um sour cream coffee cake which is amazing no destiny i don't have money i don't call me while i'm on my live fool um so then um what was i gonna say she just go on there and ask you for money <laughs> she did a um a thing so then, um, so then, I, the, I get your mashed bananas. It's a one bowl recipe. After you mash your bananas, you get your one stick of butter melted, pour it into your bananas. Then you get your one cup, or I'm sorry, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of white sugar. Put that into them. Put your two eggs in. Put your one stick of, van or your one teaspoon of vanilla and then you put your half a cup of buttermilk. I have made it with regular milk. I found it, I liked it better with buttermilk. That's the only reason I went back to buttermilk. It is originally supposed to be with milk. I tried it one time with buttermilk because I didn't have the milk that it would call for and I found that I liked it with that flavor. Once you incorporate that in a bowl, get one and a half cups of flour, 
one teaspoon of uh, baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Put that into your bowl. Just mix it up. I use a wooden spoon. I used a whisk after it. You can use a whisk, bowl, whatever you want to use. It, I used to use um, a spoon. Then I went to a blender or like a mixer thing. Um, and then um, I've made muffins out of them. The muffins, I made 12, I believe it's 12, maybe 24, but they freeze beautifully. And then you take them out. Um, I used three bananas, but I have made it with four. I have added blueberries to the recipe. It works nicely. Um, if you do put blueberries, put a, a bowl like this with a little bit of flour in it. I would say about a half a cup of flour. Then get your blueberries after you rinse them off. Put them on the counter to dry on, you know, like a paper towel to dry off. Don't put it on a towel because they'll get the fuzzies from the towel. It has to be, uh, unless it's a cheesecloth or some kind of a, a, a dish towel that's, that will not have fuzzies. But it does get fuzzies because your blueberries are drying on there. So if you have a paper towel, put the paper towel, let them dry off, put them and roll it around in the flour, around like, you, you'll see all the blueberries get covered with it. Then you like grab your fingers and like take the blueberries off of it. Because if you just pour it in, you're gonna get all the flour that you just used. You don't want that. You why want to put the flour on there, honey? Tell them why. You do it because I said so. No, I'm just kidding. You put the, is that butterflies? Um. Blurred lines. Oh, blurred lines. Wow, you're new. It's great to have you. Um, so you put the flour on it so your blueberries don't fall to the bottom of your cake. And so they stay incorporated in, in your loaf. Yeah, they float in there. Because they, the, they float throughout the floaters. loaf. Um, if your oven starts cooking it and it starts getting too, too done or like it's just rapidly getting it burnt on the sides but the center is a lot of times still a little raw just get some foil on the top put it around there so that way the heat can actually cook the inside of it yeah, you versus do that to your pies too if you're the outside of your the crust of your yeah. the edge of your crust uh, you put foil on that first and then you bake it halfway through and you take that off then it won't get like dark and black around the outside of it yeah it'll cook like the rest of the pie um but other than that i've made muffins with it i've made cupcakes and muffins muffins i have going in it's a standard um loaf pan i used a little bit of a smaller one but the reason i used a smaller one was because that ceramic does better in uh our oven because our oven sucks we're in an rv we love our rv great uh refrigerator but our oven is a little bit more um temperamental I would say, like, it's not bad. It's just more temperamental. Yeah. Um, B, B to you. Hey, girl. Um, I just saw you. That is, uh, that is weird that you just coat them in flour and then they'll stay in place. Yeah. They won't all sink to the bottom. They work. I mean, crazy. and it does that with blueberries. It's just they work really nicely. I was gonna make fried pies, like strawberry fried pies, because I happened to buy the strawberries, and I ended up making the what is it, compost. Compote. So I made uh, strawberries that I bought strawberries because they were like two dollars and I was like, oh my god, that's a great price here in Texas. Um, in Michigan, we sell our strawberry cords for a dollar twenty-five. They're on our four for five dollars sale. We go pick them ourselves, um, or we go pick our strawberries. So for them, they're normally three ninety-nine, four ninety-nine here in Texas. So I found some for two dollars, bought them. We ate like a couple of them, but then I was like, oh, I should have thought about we could make some pies, fried pies. I didn't think about it in time, and then they started getting a little bit uh, soft, I would say. So I made some compote, compote. into, the, into it. Compost. So if we could, if we could, um, hopefully, if, we, if you guys wanted to make them, we could make them. I've made them before with apple, peaches, strawberry. Um, I make them with just different uh, different stuff. We, they have fried pies everywhere down here. So then I started making my own. Y'all know how I am. Joe, <laughs> I know Joe's trying to like mess up my groove like he did last night with my scallop potatoes. He's like, watch your arm. I'm like, bro, I'm in the middle of a, a description here. And then I start talking about the blueberries and Joe's like talking about the, the compote. I'm just kidding. Um, you guys, what was else was I gonna tell you guys? Um, Commander, did you see the other video? I think I called you about, I shouted you out about 19,000 times. I was like, and then Marissa was asking, where's Commander? And I'm like, bro, I didn't even see it until last night. I'm reading all the 
things and Burke's bunch is talking and everybody's like, where's Commander? Where's And I'm like, Commander, where are you, girl? Everybody's asking for you. I'm just kidding. I saw that you had to go, you had to take off, which is cool. I never, 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 never want you guys to put your family, your man, your dinner. Don't ever put your family, uh, don't ever put your uh, family uh, second to any app. Not just this one, like Facebook, Kick TikTok, anything. Do not ever put your family to that, because at the end of the day, you're you're gonna put close your app, and your family has done grown up, and you never even saw it. Your sister, your husband, and you have lost that connection that you guys once had. Your daughter, who was trying to get your attention, is no longer trying to get your attention because she gave up on mom looking this way so she could show you. So never, 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 never put anything before your family because they are the ones that are be like your family is the one that's going to be there in the long haul like your husband your kids like those are the ones so i just whenever one of my girlfriends like i'm sorry i have to go. i'm like don't apologize to me don't even, even text me back text me later when you're not busy i i mean i would feel so bad that her husband's sitting there waiting and instead i know it's just it's sad like all social media like even to call a girlfriend like sometimes i'll just call my mom because it's quicker because if i wait for her to text and text it's like you know what i would rather call i can get my answer i can hang up on the phone ah, i love you <laughs> i read that to joe today i love it i woke up and I had about nine messages and then i was like reading them and you're like i felt like a stalker and i was like no don't feel like a stalker watch them and and i mean i don't i love that you like them but i just love that you watch them um i i feel like i know you guys that's what's weird like like when i don't see some of you guys i'm like gosh i hope everything's okay i just it's i'm a mom so i'm just kind of like and i know like my my girl over in california i worry about her only because she's 30 and I want to just be like her big sister and I want to make sure everything is always good for her and if she ever needs me I'm always here and but I mean I, I mean you guys are grown adults you guys don't have to call me you guys don't have to tell me but I just worry when I'm like oh my god I haven't seen I see you but then I, I shouted out to her and uh and uh we have a, a, a group where I don't, we message each other anyways I just said, hey girl, where are you at? I was scared. I haven't seen you around. And then Commander, I was like, oh, where's Commander? I haven't seen her. Like, I'm literally going to different chats and I'm like, Commander, are you in here? And then they're like, nope, haven't seen her. And then I leave and I go to a different one. I'm like, I hope she's okay. I just worry because I'm stupid and I have nothing else better to do but worry. Um, <laughs> I'm so dumb. I know. Um, anyways, I'm going to, I, I want to wait. I, well, one of them, the, how long do you think it takes for the, what? for the, um, um uh, cut muffins? How long? Yeah. Did it look like it was getting done or no? No. I, I, I put the temperature probe in there to make sure we were, you know, yeah. our, our uh, oven is. Joe and his enough. temperature probe. He's the sergeant that's, that's hey, organized. But I was like, eh, and then I take it out and it's like all sloppy in the middle. And I'm like, shoot, let me microwave it. It's all good. Oh, uh, I do. You're around 350, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little. You know what, you guys? Um, I'm blessed. We're so close to 500. Sorry. I just thought about it. <laughs> I just, just about, <laughs> just about have to check myself. <laughs> like, oh. Did I scare you? <laughs> I scared you. <laughs> I looked at the thing and your eyes got me. <laughs> you guys were so close to 500. I was just. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guys, I was like, so you guys, we were like, like only 20 or 30 away from 500. I'm a dying. There, man. I know. Organically. I love it. I love it. I mean, I didn't want to, you guys know the story. I didn't want to do it one way. I wanted them to come in because we are the bomb. Not because I, oh, my puppy, my little grandson. Shush, girl, yes! I mean, do you realize we started at one and then two? And then I got up to like 250, 230. And then I left my previous, um, my previous creator. 
and it ended up um, it ended up I lost about 75 uh, 75 subs and I was I, I'm okay I'm okay I was sad because there were some girlfriends that I thought we had friendships but I was fine like I want people to be here because they like me and they love my cooking and so oh, really we went like from you. like 250 down to like <laughs> 190 and I was like no and then it was like it's okay it's okay so then it was like three 325 350 and now I'm like woo! I'm so excited like it's like um I mean I don't know I'm just like grateful that you guys you guys talk to me and you guys tell me what to cook for you guys that you guys tell me reactions to the stuff that we make that's amazing that you guys are like hey I made this I like this um yeah I, you know and I'm so happy where I'm at I'm happy that the people that I that come here are are come from different communities I just love that we don't talk about anything here people just just hang there's not like oh my gosh she's there i'm not gonna go there like i love who i love i love my girl zero has been friends with me since last uh last september and uh, there's there's girlfriends I, I i'm i'm about loyalty and if i can have a friendship uh, a good friendship even if it just stays on youtube I just want a good friend that I don't have to like watch my watch my back. I want to know that they're my girlfriend and they're not talking about me and they enjoy my company. I enjoy theirs. I think it's great to love people. I think it's sheep. great. Yeah. Joe. Andrew, watch your sheep. <laughs> I'm grateful. You know what? I, I, I feel like I've put out the same energy and I've met beautiful people. Beautiful people. Like beautiful. I love my loyals that come in here. I can't wait till I grow, but I love that my commander's here. I lo we look for Burke's Munch when she's not here. We look for Marissa. We look for Paul. We look for people that we're used to seeing in all of our lives. And so it's like, I love that our lives have the same. <laughs> commander, she goes, bye. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, they do though. Aw. Uh, yeah. It's a, they said that we would laugh too much. That they they get on so that they get Joe. They get on so they can get a swear. recipe, and that me and Joe laughing and giggling all the time is annoying. And I'm like, oh, and then I got one this weekend that said, "Have you seen the size of you? You're a large whale." And I'm like, uh, they're talking about me. No, they weren't. They said, no wonder they go, no wonder a J. They first of all they call him J. They go, no wonder Jay has a wandering eye. Uh, look at the size of you. Uh, it's disgusting to even see that you're on TV, on YouTube. I'm like, God, you sound like, like, I, I mean, whatever. I paid it no mind. I mean, my husband loves me. Who are you to tell me? You think I don't have a mirror? You think that I didn't see? Yeah, we've only been together 20 freaking years. I know. Like, you think he's going to go, oh, shit, I'm out of here. Well, 19. 2004 right i know it was all it was awful i sent it to marissa i said shit this is what i woke up to like 7 20 i got up and it was like oh i got a notification already and i'm like oh but it's okay what what did i do to bother them i cook i laugh i have a good time and apparently i look so grotesque whatever whatever anyways i'm gonna take a picture of it you guys i'll yeah, post it because it ain't gonna be done i know but they're puffing up there girly girl let's show what it looks like so far so far <laughs> don't slam it because it's baking yeah, 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 i'll get it i'll get another one i got it it's, so it's hot it's gonna go through <laughs> so far so good right there, right there. all right Bring look at how pretty you guys more so we can get this back on there what was it Ugh. i might even take one out y'all I don't think they're going to be done all I right. don't care. Look at how pretty. they got a ways to go. Oh, yeah. The center's a little soft. Yeah. The outside's firm. See that? They're firm. But then right in Get there. Me. We can still go the outside and tink. <laughs> if you want to. Come on. You wanna, yeah, go ahead. Whatever. Yeah, then we can do a little tink with the peoples. All right. Party people. All right. Y'all. The things we do for love. You think that one's more done than this one? No. It's just... Or I can just answer questions for about two minutes. Okay, go to bed. What? <laughs> Move. <laughs> what do you want to do? Like, what? You want to put it in? 
Yeah, I'm gonna put it in. I'll answer questions for about oh, five minutes. Add me. I had to. <laughs> you were excited. <laughs> you were excited. Okay, That's guys, right. I'm gonna read questions Whatever. for Uno Momento Mas. Oh, they're looking at nothing. Yeah, they will be looking Where's at something. Where's the perritos? No, I. First. Oh, whoa. What happened? Right in her face. First. Okay, I'm gonna eye read. candy. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> And then that lady's gonna get mad and say, <laughs> "I don't even know. Maybe it's a man. Can you imagine?" Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's funny. You know what was funny? It's that one person told me we laugh too much. Nobody wants to see you guys laughing and and uh, something. Uh, little pet names sound ridiculous. And I was like, That's like weird. It's, we, yeah, that was weird. weird and then this one, it was like, there's calm some. down. You you're like she said that the first paragraph, like that big, was describing how fat I was. And then this much was about how Joe doesn't really love me and that he wa he has a wandering eye and he's disgusted every time he looks at me in the camera. You can see how disgusted he is of me. And then the next part, she went back to, I need to count my lucky stars because of how disgusting I look. It's like, so basically you just came in to tell me how fat I am? I mean, shut up. Tell me my food's good or tell me it's bad. Don't tell me what I look like. I'm miserable people. It's like, yeah. tell me misery, my food. And misery loves company, and they just want to draw you in and try to make you miserable. Tell me that, like, my recipe sucked, and then I'll be like, bullshit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, no, ma'am, you wrong. Brandy, I love you. Did my baby already leave? Did she go? Oh, I blue line, thank you for coming in. Everyone admires. It's a great tip. I never knew they say. Be to you, Joe. Um, Commander, you were missed, girl. Eh, I like clingers. Clingers are fine. As long as you're on there. I'm coming to my door. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait, you guys. Drop my link. I'm excited. If y'all can just get, like, just... If I can get to, like, I mean, I'm, command, uh, I see what you can't shares me all the time. She's sweet, 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 sweet. She shares me, and I'm grateful. She tags me in her videos, and, and she's just, I mean, she's a, a good person. I'm just happy that she wants to do that. Um, no, I, I, I wouldn't take them back, uh, even if they regretted it and apologized, um, because... Two of them had said, because we were friends since about November, October, and this just happened in February. Two of them I've known a while, and we had both agreed whatever we see online, because we know, we, I mean, I come from the drama community. I know it's dirty and messy. We said we'll never. But first of all, if there's no receipts, it didn't happen. And for someone to say that I called them in the middle of the night, and they all believed it, it was like, I wouldn't call any man. I don't care if he's gay or not. I'm a married woman, and even if I'm mad for him, I would never call another man because I would never want my husband to call another woman, ever. And this person said that I called, and this creator said that I called and was speaking crap on three or, you know, these five friends of mine. And all of them believed it. All of the people believed it. And I, I was, I, we had said we'll never, ever, ever take our, our, our friendship out on the YouTube streets. We would always do this. So you can feel bad. You can apologize. I would never trust him again. To me, I, trust to me is, trust to me is like right the very, right yeah. Trust to me is everything, every, and that's why I won't ever share screens, screenshots. There was many people that said you can either come up on my panel um, they said, uh, Queen B asked me if I wanted to come up and just share. Um, there's different people have asked. Let me just, I'm not going to put any creators out there. A couple of people have said, you're welcome to go up there and share your story. I don't want to share my story because I don't have to, I don't, you have to share your screenshots and I don't want to do it. Screenshots are private. That's my conversation with that person. I like talking to those people. I like it being private. I like the intimacy of knowing that what I'm telling you is between me and you. And so to me, uh, no, Commander. No matter how much they apologize, there's nothing anybody could do to make me, um, I'll forgive them. Um, but I would never befriend them again, and I would never, hey, Birds Bunch! 
I would never befriend them again. Um, actually, I just, I just don't, I don't have a desire to be a friend with somebody that I'm not, um, that I can't trust. I mean, I, I mean, there's a lot of people I talk to on here that were just like, hey, how's it going? There's other people that I actually have conversations with outside of here um, that I want that to be like a friendship that I trust. So, because Commander had asked if I'd forgive them and they, if I would accept them. Yeah. Um, can you imagine being offended by your laughing? I don't know. Being offended by my food. Don't be offended by me laughing. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't trust your food if you guys were stick figures. <laughs> me to you. That's, you got a good point. Uh. All right. You're going you're gonna to test this out? You're yeah, baby. It? Yeah. Are you ready? No. We're going to get smell vision on our next phone, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I almost elbowed you in the gut. <laughs> What's this supposed to be said? They said would they would they would they rather would they rather me elbow you and get tell you to get out of the kitchen versus us being like, hey babe. Uh, oh yeah, the temperature, three fifty, and it your your banana bread should go for about forty minutes. Um, I've with this one it's a little different, but anyways, cupcakes will be a on a, sooner, yeah, right? your cupcakes will be done in about twenty minutes. Uh, a twelve pack, uh, that's what a cupcake tin is, like a twelve pack. Nine pack probably. Really? That's what that is. Yeah, but those are muffins. I make cupcakes. Oh, okay. The, a whole bunch of dots. <laughs> Just shut our chest. No, they're not the same thing, you weirdo. Hey, Love Alta. Burke Bunch, I'm glad you made it, baby. Oh, take Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys so much. Um, let me, I'm going to drop our PayPal. I don't know where it's at. <laughs> Thank you so much. We actually, we're going to tinker it up right now. Oops, sorry, baby. Are you doing that to me? Oh, me? Just kidding, Joe. Let's take it out, baby. You just want a snack. Let's do it. All right. Hold on. Let's do this. Can't keep Boom. Our, can't keep our uh, fans waiting. Huh? Oh, my God. Whatever. <laughs> right. um, we're going to tink. Tink. We're going to tink with what we got. And I'll shut this back up. You guys, look it up pretty. What? Okay. All right. I know that a lot of people say to wait to take them out, but if you can take them out, take them out uh, and set them on the counter to cool off. Um, we had a marble counter in our other house, and so we would take them off. One, they cool quicker because of the marble. And number two, uh, I feel like the pan actually cooks them a little bit longer. But that's me. And it may not be true, yeah. but I found like it does. RV tip. If you're using your oven to do stuff like this, you get one of those 9 by 13 that's you, cookie, Bunch. cookie sheets. Put it upside down or right side up, doesn't matter. You just show her. And, and then you, uh, I'll show you, because the flame, the, the flame's right in the middle of the oven, right? And then your rack is like right here. Your rack? Yeah. That's why she said you have a wandering eye. <laughs> but you put a you put a pan in there and then it disperses the heat up and around it instead of just having, you know, because you're, you're cooking, uh, um, um, your uh, flame, mm, your flame is, your, that tube is like right in the middle of your oven. It's right here. And then your you put your stuff like that far above it and it just gets just direct heat right underneath there. You can burn. That's why it's hard to cook in these things because they burn the bottom of everything. So what you do is you get a, I'll show you right here. I'll get it out. Probably can't get it out because it's hot. You, here, take that fire thing out, the stick. Yeah. yeah and then. Need help? No, nope. nope, I don't want you to burn yourself. Put your nails right here, and then you can pull on that. Uh -huh. <laughs> no? I got it stuck in there now. Dang it, Dang it Joey. Uh -huh. No, yeah, it's, pretty, yeah, it's pretty hard in there. Okay. We're gonna tink, baby. I don't. Joey, you don't want to tink? You guys, we made muffins, but we made also. 
Oh. <laughs> well, you. Yeah, well. I, a couple Anyways. things. <laughs> um, you co- you're in a lot of our lives. And I found, I mean, I love Commander to Pieces, but like I was dependent on like Commander and you are like in all of our lives. And then I was like, oh my God, Commander's not in there. And I was like, uh, I needed somebody. I, it, it, my family can't always come in here and I love them to pieces. But I just, uh, I, a couple of things. I just wanted to make sure that people that are in here and people that I trust are the reason that I, that's what I do. Um, I just kind of notice people that are in most of my lives. I'm going, and, and they're looking out for us. It, ma- it matters to us. So if you, that's what I was trying to, I think I, I've met, I started to email you to ask you if you wanted one. If you didn't want the wrench, you're more than welcome to not. But I just felt like it was so much pressure on Commander. Um, like when she wasn't here, I was like, wow, if my family hops off, I don't have a like a backup mod. Um, so anyways, Burks, if you, if you don't mind it, if you do, I'm okay either way butter sunflower i'm gonna make your cake i'm making your cake your butter. yellow cake it's called butter gooey butter uh sunflower tell me what your cake is called again mm. it's called gooey butter cake or something i sent i sent her an email and i go look girl they got your cake as a confetti cake but she said you can make it with any cake <laughs> Let's put it on the top. You want to put it on top? You don't want to, like, bust it open? I want to... You going to decide? Don't matter. You just want it. Just open it up, baby. Ooh, oh, there it is. Stop. A little butter there. A little more butter there. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, stop. That's the worst part about butter, you guys. It doesn't break. It's not like margarine. Joey, you're making you're me just nervous. Do it on the outside, or you just gonna, we'll tink with that. Yeah, supposedly wow. this recipe doesn't require you. I think we did say that. It doesn't you don't even need butter on it? No, no, but it's good with it. It is good with it. All right, let's take these. You I know. The top or the bottom? Top. You get the top. I'll Babe, don't be so wrong. Let's get a fork and maybe pretty. What? No, be pretty. No. Ah, you're saying no? <laughs> just grab it. Oh my God! Stop rushing me. You're making me nervous. No. What? I need a fork. Uh, How is that in your hands and not burning you? Okay, guys. Tink. Mm. Pour. Mm. Wow. That is so moist. That's very good. I'd pay for that. That's very good. It's very good, you guys. Mm. (laughs) Sunflower, I love you. I know. I checked on you, too, didn't I, Sunflower? Cause I hadn't seen you around. I was like, how's everything going? Oof. It is very moist, you guys. To be honest with you, you don't even need the butter on it. Joe's just like, he likes the butter on it. But this, the, this actually tastes like it. <laughs> you guys. There you go. I literally bought bananas. I bought what four. Put this, you got your, your element of fire that's in the middle, then there's a like a shelf that is just above the heat, and then you got your rack that you put all your food on. And it's like I said, it's only that far away, so what you do is you slide this on top of that, that shelf that's just above the flame. It's just a, a flat shelf. Shove it in there, and then the heat will disperse around the sides, and it'll, it'll make it more an even flame, mm-hmm. and keep that direct heat off of the bottom of your muffins. There you go. Or whatever you're baking in. And um, Sunflower. RV life, baby. I emailed you back just to let you know that, I mean, you have a new email now, and I don't mind. I'll just disregard the other one and then just start emailing you off the one you have a lot of people emailing you off of. I'm going to cut it for you guys so you guys can see it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's good, man. It's really good. Super good. There you go. Kiddo, you want a little piece of butter? Or you don't need it? 20 minutes. That's about all it was, too. 20 minutes mm. for the cupcake. But they're muffins. They're a little bit bigger. So you could probably do a whole rack. Rack, bottom, top. Jeez, oh, you guys were a family show. Here, I'll do it for you, baby. Having a rough time. Here it is. Yeah. My little butter. Little butter instead of little buddy. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> little butter. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I forgot. I lost track of everything. Mm. <laughs> that was good. Mm. Make some pretty good stuff here, mm -hmm. darling. We do. Well, Ready? You need something to drink? I have it right here. We've been. We made this when we had our air our Airbnb. So we made it before. Yeah, this one we've you've you've made it before. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's what when me and Joe first started dating, he goes, you know, I would oh, I'd ask God that I wanted somebody that I could have a little banter back and forth to keep it just interesting to ha make I mean I love laughing and he loves laughing we have a great time just in the car we've traveled for like 12 or 15 hours sometimes going you know to see Destiny in Arizona when we were in Michigan going to Florida we travel a lot in the car we have a lot of jokes back and forth we mess around with each other um, we just life is too serious and if you're with somebody that you can't enjoy a good laugh with I love that a lot of the people that were in here have been in together for a long time. All right, guys, we're hopping off. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry it was almost a full hour. But we got the... <laughs> Joe, you weirdo. What? I was trying to fit in. <laughs> With the us short yeah. people. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. Make the muffins. Make them into cupcakes. So if you make the 24 muffins, stick them in the freezer. The night before, put them out on the counter so they dry off. Or dry off. They defrost, so the next day you can take one to work. Yeah. His hand got a little weird, but we might have to go. Yeah, everything's everything's bigger. <laughs> like it's weird. But you can definitely tell. <laughs> Look at how. I'm so swollen up from the poison ivy and and yeah. ant bites, fire ants. Holy Texas holy. took a toll on Joe. Yeah, it's, it's, it was, it's been a, we a love Texas. bad few days, man. We love you guys. Have a great, great night, guys. We love you guys, every one of you guys. I have my emails in the back on my about page. You're more than welcome to email me. I respond to everybody's emails. You can leave a comment, but if you have a, a question about something or just wanted to email me, you're more than welcome to. Uh, a couple of people have emailed me and just said, hey, I ordered you this, it's on its way. Hey, um, I got a recipe, could you try making this recipe? Just hit me up, we are there. Have a good night. <laughs> You're so crazy. I should have said, tomorrow we're doing the beans. <laughs> Everybody's like, sure. <laughs>